So inside of Blender 2D, you might want to make an animation that's got multiple shots. Easiest way to do that is using Story Pencil. We go into Edit, Edit Preferences, do a quick search for, just type Story, and it'll appear. I've already enabled the Sequencer Story Pencil, so it's good to go. Then what we do is under 2D Animation, under Draw, we go down to Set Up Storyboard Session, and we're already ready to go. Uh, what I'll do is give this a name. I'm going to call this Titles. Hit Enter, and we'll go to Edit. So here, uh, well, I, I'm just going to make a couple quick changes here. I'm just using a mouse, so this is not going to be very good, but that's not the point. It's The point is to demonstrate how we can do multiple uh, shots. Okay, this looks terrible, but that's okay. Now, we, we can even do something like we can add um, uh, modifiers in here if we want to. For example, I'll throw a quick build on this, and we'll just make it, I don't know, 30 frames. And if we click play, whoops. There it is, and it builds it for us, okay. And we can extend the length of this too. It's set to 48 by default. Let's just go 60 frames, and that's our introduction now. We'll go back to the Visual Story Editor, and here we go, and we, can, we should be able to play it here, and there it is. Now, I'm gonna go to the end of this frame. Actually, I won't go to the end. I'm gonna go to the middle. Now, you'd normally wanna go to the end, but let's just see what happens, and I'll click New over here on the right-hand side, and instead of Scene, I'm gonna call this uh, Intro. Call it whatever you want. And I can simply drag this next scene. I move the mouse over and we are ready to go. And I can start animating on this shot. So I'll click edit. And maybe this is going to have, I don't know, some mountains. This is our, our wide establishing shot for the film. Uh, I, I might put in a sun, which of course we could animate as well. Um, uh, anything is possible. But that's, that's basically the nuts and bolts right there. I go back to Visual Story Editor and uh, I'll go to the end here this time. And I'll click New, and we can add yet another scene to this. And this is really a fantastic way to, to edit and create a short animation. The advantages to this over any other method are that if you want to change the duration of any particular scene, add some frames on, for example, extend it or shorten it, you can do it with just a couple of clicks. So let's make a new one here, and I'll call this Test. I will click OK. And what I'll do now, actually, what I'm going to do is go back to the intro. Okay, we're going to click Edit, and let's say I change my mind, and I want this to be 100 frames long. Okay, there we go. It's extended it here, so we now have a 100 frame, well, animation. Go back to the Visual Story Editor, and it should have, <laughs> and it caused it to crash. <laughs> okay, but that should have extended it uh, inside of the Visual Story Editor. I'm going to stop there. I think you get the idea. Make sure you save frequently. All right, that's it. Over and out.